With the reward for Halo 5's 152 revealed now to the public, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, can I hit 152 in Halo 5 before the release of Halo Infinite? Well, in this video, we're going to go into all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It keeps you up to date with everything going on with Halo. If you like these kind of videos, tap that like button as it really helps with the video and channel. So let's get right into the content here. So yes, like I said, top of this video, we do now know the reveal of the reward for Halo Infinite's 152 rank. And it does look really awesome, like to the, also to the point where I'm like, maybe I should start playing some Halo 5 to try to get there because I'm getting pretty close. But the way that XP gains work in Halo 5 isn't exactly intuitive. If you're a casual player of Halo 5, you probably notice that the ranks, you know, they do take a little bit longer the more you play it, but it's, it's rather same pace in the mo for the most part as playing the game. And you can see from this graph right here that that's rather accurate. You can see that, that, that there is a bit of a curve to this graph, but it is rather linear with some peaks thrown in there as well. It seems like every 10-ish, 15-ish levels or something like that. There's a bit more XP that's needed to get over the hump kind of thing, but you can see that it's rather linear and kind of makes sense for an XP gains. But once you get into the higher ends of XP, things get a little weird. So the bottom of this graph is where SR140 is. And like you said, that previous graph, you can see that angle up. This is where you are at actually right here. And then once you kind of get to about say 148, that's when the grind, 147 in this area, that's when the grind really starts happening. And there's like an exponential kick all of a sudden up to get to 152. So I did the math and funny thing is, once you're up to rank 150, you're actually about halfway there to getting to max rank in Halo 5. That's because in this Google Sheets document I threw together, I found a list of all the ranks and all their XP. You can see at 150 right here, that you'll be actually at 24 million XP earned, which is just shy actually of 50% of the 50 million XP that is needed to earn max rank in Halo 5. Now you're probably thinking, is it actually possible for me to hit 152? Well, I put together a bit of a graph right here for you guys to figure out if you actually can do it and you have time. Now we don't know the exact time when Halo Infinite will be re released, but we have a really good idea. A recent tweet from Bonnie Ross said, mentioned about how she's proud about the team working together, but also said, hey, 2021, isn't it, doesn't somebody have an anniversary around then? And they would be correct because in November 15th of 2021, that would be the 20th anniversary of the Halo franchise. So for Bonnie Ross mentioning that there's an anniversary, that'd be a nice rounded number 20 that released at the same time. November is a very typical release month. And we do know that's gonna be a fall release, which that is the fall. I would highly suspect that week of November 15th being the release time frame. So given that date in mind, I might be like a week or two off, but this graph should definitely help you out when it comes to figuring out if you actually can hit it. If we check it out right here, I threw this all together for you. So you can check us all out. This is recently updated data. I made a video about this about like a year or two ago, um, but I also updated the data now so that it most represents what's going on in Halo 5 right now for XP gains. Now I do have a link to this in the description down below. What it will do, it will give you a file to download. Once you download that small file, it's like 16 kilobytes. Go into Google Sheets or Excel, whichever one works best for you. Go over the file, open, click and drag that from your downloads folder into here. And boom, you have the file for yourself because this is actually an interactive dynamic spreadsheet, guys. Because <laughs> what you can do here is that you actually can type in your XP level right now. So right now I'm at level 149. You have to say if you're like level 125, just type that in, hit enter changes all the numbers for you right there. So, so it shows you your general current XP status. It gives you the XP needed to get to 152. Tells you the amount of days that you have left to earn 152, the average amount of XP that you'll need. And now I, the way I worked out the math here of how long or how many games you would take to play, basically for Warzone and Arena as our the base Halo 5 is kind of separated into two parts. Uh, Warzone doesn't actually always have a double XP playlist. You're gonna be wanting to play double XP no matter what. There's always at least one double XP playlist in Arena, not so much in Warzone. But from my experience playing Warzone Firefight, with double XP, I was earning about 6,100 XP. Now, there's also our legendary boosts. I was trying that out a little bit. And if you finish first or last place, kind of this is an average between the two for my math that I put together, you're averaging about 21,500 XP. Now, if you're playing just Arena, 
Uh, with double XP, you earn about 3,200 XP. With the legendary boost, that puts you around 9,200. Obviously, it's kind of depending on your performance, how much that legendary XP boost gives you. But from my experience, tallying up multiple games, this is what I was earning. Now, people will probably also say play Mythic, Mythic Warzone Firefight on the weekends. Um, from my experience with legendary boost, on, I was getting about 24,000 XP. Uh, we only were able to get to like round four out of five for like five games in a row. So we weren't actually able to finish. But the thing is that Warzone, Mythic Warzone Firefight is rather difficult and the possibility of failure is very true and games were lasting like 20-ish minutes or something like that so i'd say just for your sanity and just you know be able to play the game without having to worry so much about being able to complete the game just play on warzone firefight regular version is fine you lose a little bit of xp but really not to the point where it's not worth playing also warzone firefight the games can go by rather quickly i had a game go like eight minutes long and i earned like twenty thousand xp pretty awesome so yeah these are all like numbers and figures but how often do i have to play tell me that so with playing warzone firefight i tallied up games needed so for a 2021 release if you don't have any double xp at all you have to play about 21 to 22 games per day right now like right now, <laughs> that's urgent guys. But if you're playing with double XP, obviously that cuts it in half to about 10.8 or like 11-ish games. And also if you want to put on legendary boost, if you have a legendary boost on every game from here until the release day of Halo Infinite, you need to play six games per day of Warzone Firefight with a legendary boost on. Now, obviously we can't play Halo 5 every single day, but I totaled it up for a week and that's 43 games per week. And for a month, that's 172.6 games per month. That is a lot of Halo 5 time, but like this said, guys, this grind time is true. Now for Arena, you can see right here as well for legendary boosts on top of this, you have to play 14 games per day. You're at level 125. Uh, weeks you have to play 100 plus games a week or 400 plus games a month that's a lot of halo 5 guys that's like really dedicated if you're at 125 you really have to focus in if you're trying to get this right now i'm at 149 in halo 5 and about halfway through to be honest and so it makes it a little bit more casual but still not the most easiest achievement whatsoever but at beginning level at 149 which i'm about halfway through so this does cut a little bit shorter for me i need to play four games of a legendary boosted warzone firefight a day for 30 a week or 123 a month and for arena that's about 10 games per day about 72 games per week and I just round up to make safe 287 games per month. Now there are different tactics you can use. The term quick coring was very popular way of getting 152. It does involve you having to party up with a full team and kind of cheese your way through Warzone. But right now Warzone population is rather low where you can only find like six players per team. So that ends up being more of a 12 person lobby rather than a 24 person lobby. So if that makes quick coin easier, you can also do that. Just looking up different videos on YouTube or online if you want to learn how to do quick core. This is just straight gameplay experiences for you guys. So if you're just gonna sit down play the game and grind it out, this is what you need to do to earn 152 in Halo 5. Again, link in the description down below. It will take you to the file to download. You can open it up in Google Sheets or Excel to kind of modify and figure out how exactly it'll work for you and right now in halo 5 you can earn gold packs for these legendary boosts that are about 150k rack points per pack gives you about 20 either arena or warzone xp boosts so i highly suggest you going in and grinding that out right now if you need help getting some more rec points and selling each item individually is a pain there's a google chrome extension that will let you sell multiple rec items in a row so you don't have to do it i'll show you guys right here if you go into the website i have the google chrome extension downloaded it's called sell rex tool i will leave a link in the description down below for that extension as well for this video you can kind of see like right here okay so i have what 34 of these right here i just go like so let's sell 30 of them sell cards yes i do want to sell 30 that will give me 2250 rec points right there it sells all of them right in a row so i don't have to do it in game it's like literally the best tool ever when it comes to selling rec tools so then you can actually earn that 150k rec points so get that xp boost packs fast and easy in fact i think i need to sell a few myself to get another arena boost packs i think i'm gonna try to focus that a little bit more so definitely want to check out that tool guys it's gonna be a absolute lifesaver when it comes to selling recs 
But yeah, let me know your experience with the file, guys. If you have any issues, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to help you out the best I can through text. Up on sell those rec points, guys, you know, because all you need is just XP. You don't need to worry about having these cool recs anymore because not very people are playing Warzone anymore. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.